Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to refund or return items on Timu. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we make a refund or return items on Timu? Well, returning items in Timu or refunding an item is actually pretty easy. So first things first is you need to open up the Timu mobile app. Let's go ahead and click on Timu here and open it up. Now from the main menu, what we need to do is we need to view our orders. So at the bottom center of the screen, go ahead and click on the U tab. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to the your orders section. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to look for the order that we want to return or refund. Now in this case, there are going to be a specific uh, time frame for specific orders that you made on your account so meaning some orders might not be eligible especially if your order was uh, like a few months ago so especially it's really really important that once you want to make a return or refund make sure to do it immediately in this case maybe i want to return one of the recent items or package that i actually ordered so let's go and click on return slash refund in there and from here it's going to say or it's going to ask you have you received your package so in this case let's go and click on yes i received that but if you answered no here go ahead and answer no and from then on you should be able to see next screen which in this case it will actually immediately uh redirect you to our page where in this case uh you'll be able to make a report that you didn't receive your package though they will they will actually process and assess on how they will actually make a refund for you in this case just in case like for example you just answered yes here this is how it's going to look like so in this section here, we need to choose the item that we want to return. So if you have multiple items here, go ahead and select that. For, for now, I just want to select one item here, which is going to be Wi-Fi Smart Socket. So in this case, my uh, Wi-Fi Smart Socket here, it doesn't actually work. So it's actually actually uh, faulty here. So now it's going to ask us how, the reason for the return. In this case, let's go and select the reason here. So there's going to be a lot of reasons that you can uh, basically uh, do here. So in this case, maybe I want to say the item is defective or doesn't work. Let's go and choose that and just click on confirm. And from here, we need to provide some uh, uh, the uh, some photos or uh, comments in here so for us to make our claim or our return a lot stronger because they will be reviewing your uh, request here first before it's actually approved or you'll be able to actually have a return. In this case, maybe I want to comment here. Let's just say uh, item doesn't work and automatically shuts down. Now from here, we also want to actually uh, specify how our or uh, basically attach photos or videos of the product that is currently faulty. Let's go ahead and do that. So when attaching or adding videos in here, you have the option to either upload from your album or take a photo via your camera. In this case, I actually uploaded from my uh, uh, gallery here. So this is just an example. That's why I uploaded that photo. But for now, let's go ahead and click on next step at the right bottom right of your screen. Now from here, it's going to give you some information or return information here. So in this case, make sure to read all of the details I have here. For example, you are eligible for one free return of one or multiple items for every order. So meaning you won't have to pay anything when you actually make an, uh, a return on one of your orders. Now the uh, options or the return policies here or return information might be different on different regions. But in this case, in this row, this is how it actually works. But for now, let's go ahead and click on next here. And from here, you should be able to see the option here that in this case, you'll be able to select your payment or the method that you want to have your refund. So in this case, you could use or have a, a Timu credit balance here, which in this case, you'll be able to receive in seconds, which is in this case will never expire. Also, you have the option here to uh, have your original payment method as a means of returning your funds. In this case, go ahead and choose that and just click on submit. And if you choose either Timo credit balance here or original payment method, which in this case, uh, you should be able to uh, basically have your funds. Again, if you choose original payment here, they will review that first and process it. So it might take a few days or a few weeks. Like for example, right now, it's going to take around uh, June 6 or June 19, which is around two weeks from the creation of this video. But yeah, so in this case, just click on submit here and that would actually process your return or refund in Timo. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.